Henry KT. Welcome to this video in which I'll show you how to configure VLANs on a Cisco Switch Catalyst 2960. I will show you how to configure VLANs, how to name them, and how to configure access ports so you can assign those created VLANs on them uh, to those ports that are connected to the end devices. So we are going to use two VLANs which is going to be VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 but first I must configure the subnet IP on each device so for the end of the, uh, of the practice we can have commu uh, communication between each other uh, all the device of the same VLAN will have connectivity between each other which means PC1 will, will have connectivity with PC2 and PC3 with PC4 because they are on different VLANs and there's no default gateway they cannot communicate between those two different VLANs it's just going to be between devices in the same VLAN so let's begin with assigning the IP addresses on each device I'm gonna go here and assign the 192.168.10 and I'm gonna assign this the, the first IP because it's the PC1 and then that would be it for the second it's gonna be the same but I'm gonna assign this the second IP available those were from the VLAN 10 VLAN 10 and these are going to be for the VLAN 20 it will have the same first and second IP and then here we go okay now I will connect the ports, the ports of these devices, the first PC to the facet Ethernet 0 slash 1 and so on. The second PC to the fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. So to have the first four ports assigned to the switch. Okay, once we do this, we can begin configuring the switch. Let's go to the CLI and let's begin. Enable configure terminal. First, I'm gonna change the hostname of this switch so it looks better. I'm gonna call it hostname uh, switch underscore 292960. There it is. Now to cr to begin to uh, creating VLANs, we just have to type VLAN and then the number of the VLAN that we want to create. We are going we are going to create the first VLAN, which is VLAN 10, and then under the VLAN configuration, we are gonna type name and then the name that we want that VLAN to have. In this case, I'll choose uh, VLAN RH that will be it for this bill next I'm gonna create the VLAN 20 and name it market just because I want to you can name them whatever you want so in order to verify that those VLANs have been created you must run the command show show VLAN brief in order to see whether those VLANs have been created yet or not in this case you can see that each VLAN has been created already and named though we don't see that they are assigned to any ports because we have not done so yet let's do that configure terminal I'm gonna assign the first two ports to the VLAN 10 which are the left devices PC1 and PC2 interface facetnet 0 slash 1 switch port access well first I was I was going to configure them as access ports which they should already be as access ports but this is the command to, to configure them like that switch port mode access and then switch port access VLAN 10 that would be the same for the other port switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 10 I'm gonna go right to the other two devices 
which is into the interface facet pregnant zero slash three switch for more access switch for access VLAN 20 yeah there it is then I'm gonna switch to facetonet zero slash four I'm gonna run the same commands once we have this already configured we must verify again that it is indeed those two VLANs that we created are assigned to their uh, specific ports how? with the same command that we did earlier so being brief now we can see that the VLAN 10 is assigned to the first two ports and VLAN 20 is assigned to facitor 3 and 4 which correspond to this device so we will just uh, write the config in the in the in the memory so we don't lose it in case the, the switches uh, goes off well now that we have configured the ports of the switch for each VLAN let's test connectivity so I'm gonna open the command prompt and I did it before so you could see that it was not working and now it is from PC1 of course if I try to ping the the devices in the other VLAN it's not going to be possible let's let's prove it as you can see it is not possible because there's not a router that routes between those two different subnets network so let's go with the other devices and ping each other in the same VLAN it's going to be uh, 220 2. PC3 has the dot one IP, the 20.1 and PC4 has the 20.2 uh, so let me show you ok so as you can see that this is how you configure VLANs, name them and assign them to the ports in a Cisco switch Catalyst 2960 I hope you enjoyed this video, see you next time.